the next members are the tenophorans. Tenophores are the comb jellies. They are like this. where you are getting long rows of meridionally arranged complex. One of the striking thing is tenophorans are also possessing distinct stinging cells or prey catching cells, but they are coloblasts or in some book they are called lasso cells. The next group of members they seem to be a special type of organisms. The completely parasitic phylum. It starts with platyhelminthes, flatworms. And they are digenetic, means they require two hosts for the completion of life cycle. Tough cuticle is present all around the body. Flame cell is present as the definite excretory organ, which is also known as cretocyte presently. But if you ask me, state one member of a free living platyelminthes, then its answer goes to planaria. The only exclusive answer is. It is fundamentally free living. GI tract is absent. If it is a very interesting point to understand why absent, because it is completely parasitic and it never digests any food material. Rather, it absorbs the already digested food from the body of the host. The next group of organisms start with Ascalminthes. Ascalminthes seem to be in that sense monogenetic. So they require only one host for the completion of life cycle. But they are not so much perfectly parasite as elementary canal is indistinct. Indistinct means it is present. Right. Protonepridia is also present as an excretory organ. Very unique in structure. And at the same time, these are round worms, but a very interesting point is to be noted. They are pseudocilomate. That means they are having the silomic space like structure, and true silome is lined by mesoderm, but mesoderm is not present. So it can be said there is no existence of mesoderm. Thank you very much for tasting your understanding of this lesson and more videos, log on to www.tubelessons.net.